Hey there, it is Sadie from All Natural Me. It's Monday, about two in the afternoon. I was like, are we gonna do this week's Oracle card reading or not? And of course the answer was yes. So, um, so much love to you. <laughs> so the decks this week, um, first I was really called to the herbal healing deck. I love this deck. It's plants, it's herbs, they're beautiful. Um, let's just kind of go with this. Then we're going to do a sacred geometry activation, kind of like what's the theme this week? Um, amazing last week. The theme was sexual abuse, you guys. I mean, just a real quick story. We pulled those cards and then like within the next day or so, I was really inspired to tweet something um, that was promoting an account who's trying to shed light on this darkness. And amazingly enough, this has been in the history of my Twitter career, um, my most retweeted and liked post of all times. Now, does it have anything to do with me? nothing right <laughs> but um what was so meaningful to me was that people were feeling passionate about this and ready to step up and they supported it um yeah because normally my posts do not get that much play um sadie is not that popular on twitter but this was such a hopeful experience for me because it really gave me um, reassurance that people are going to do what is right and then we're going to finish our reading this week with an Ascended Master. Okay, so um, I didn't peek at these cards, although 100% I peeked at the bottom. <laughs> I have no sense of delayed gratification whatsoever. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we got the Nog Champa. Clearing the space, <laughs> smoking us out for sure. Our message this week, what a colorful week. I didn't realize that I had picked such contrasting decks, but we got green, blue, yellow. Okay, um, and yellow and blue make green. All right, good, I knew there was something there for me. <laughs> Let's see what, who wants to come forth from the botanical world, the plant kingdom. We have hops, oh my gosh. This is a celebration card. All right, you guys, we have a message from hops. Awesome, I can't wait to dive deeper. <laughs> good, good. We all, we all love to get messages of celebration because We've been doing the work, right? Yeah, yes, we have been doing the work. And so it's so good to like be given the um, go ahead to celebrate. Um, our frequency, our sacred geometry activation, um, when I was asking uh, the deck, when I was shuffling the deck, I was asking um, what is it that we could be working on and it stopped when I said tweaking. <laughs> Well, that makes sense. We definitely need to tweak number 44, universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. So as we celebrate, let us practice loving without judgment. Let us practice universal love to everyone, feeling that connection to each other, to our planet, and to just existence itself. And um, the um, Ascended Master who's coming through today with a message about our ascension, um, our journey of soul expansion, and our learning of ourselves as spirit is Lakshmi, oh my gosh, you guys, flow of prosperity. This is good news, um, especially like if your credit card payment is due. <laughs> the flow of prosperity this morning for Monday's message, it was, you know, a message about your persistence and hard work is going to be paid off. Payday is coming soon. 
So as we connect with our existence, with the energy that creates worlds, we become infinitely abundant. We know that if we ask, it is given. We know that there is plenty. There is plenty for us. There is plenty for everyone. And isn't that something to celebrate? Celebrate good times, come on. Na, 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 na. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, so hops, you know hops. Um, that's how they ferment beer, usually. Okay, hops is in beer. You can drink hops as a tea, it's very calming, it's a sedative. Um, <laughs> It could help decrease libido in guys, FYI. <laughs> um, this is a plant that definitely encourages us to connect with our feminine side. So isn't that sweet that it came through with universal love, right? Because um, as we open up our heart space, we start feeling um, this connection to everybody because we realize that we are all part of the same source. Um, that really just helps this good energy to flow, which will lead to abundance. Um, absolutely, once you get in that mindset, love is the highest frequency. It is, it's just the highest frequency, right? <laughs> as far as we, as we climb up the emotional ladder, love is the highest frequency. So once we get more love in our life, even if um, it's like really the money isn't flowing, like. Um, so good like right now well that's probably because you are focusing on lack so get connected to love get connected to everyone have a little celebration get together start to feel the love and then let's get those prosperity juices flowing okay I want to show you what was on the bottom because literally like the the polar opposite is kind of on the bottom like the top message was a message of celebration and love and prosperity and abundance right but how do we get to that state of being <laughs> well you know sometimes we really do have to set boundaries in our life because if something inside of us is telling us that a situation is negative right we're using our discernment we know what's truth sometimes the message is to go now. Sometimes the message is to leave a toxic relationship, leave um, the company of others who have low energy, who are bringing you down. So be very mindful of your boundaries. As we work towards loving everybody, um, we don't live in a positive only universe. Sometimes you do have to protect what is valuable to you. And what is valuable to you <laughs> is your energy, is your frequency, is the ones that you care about. So definitely um, tap into your discernment. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and attachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. So, I mean, if you know someone's bringing you down, you don't have to like, you know, be rude about it. Be compassionate about it, um, be loving about it, but also know that you're worth setting up some really healthy boundaries in your life, okay? So you can flower, so you can celebrate, so you can connect with the people that really bring out the love within you, and you can just really flow with abundance and prosperity. Okay, so on that note, let's get our Andara. Um, Oracle deck out get our crystal activation for the week um, we've got reason to celebrate but we've also been reminded of what it's going to take on our part what vibrational work we need to do to get to a place of celebration focus on abundance focus on wealth consciousness Focus on allowing that prosperity to flow in your life. And if there's anything going on in your life that isn't so cool, use your discernment, keep those boundaries, um, you know, go now. Okay, go now. You don't need to suffer anymore. All right, here we go. Here is our activation for this week. I hope you guys have a beautiful, um, whew, there we go, there it is. <laughs> I'll go down and get it. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. It's um, chilly here where I'm at, it's like fall. 
Welcome June. Here we go. <laughs> well, I told you we had the celebration card. We have Ondarian Champagne. <laughs> Ondarian Champagne. Ondarian Champagne. Allow my golden energy to activate and upgrade your DNA. My energy works at the cellular level to bring rejuvenation and restoration to all of your cells, organs, and tissues, creating you anew. My energy will inform your cells to replicate as healthy, strong, and vital.